Hey buddy, it's 54 Newstar, and this is our next tutorial into the next stage of top-down turret defense games. As you can see, uh, it doesn't require a whole lot of code, but uh, let's start at the menu. So we can see how it actually truly runs. So this would be like in a mobile setup. You have our buttons here, option button there, hit play, hit level 1. And I've disabled this button before it used to pop up the actual like game menu stuff And now I may just leave it as a pause button So you know in case you know mom calls dinner time or whatever your boss calls says hey get your butt over here quick You tap that button it's paused whatever And it may auto save I don't know I'm still pl playing around with the button So you hit this button and these are like pre-assigned, uh, you know, areas where your towers are going to be. So you have one there, one there, or just one here, one there, one there. So you know, three or four in this one. You hit, you hit this, and you get this up. Now you get to choose between these two towers. Now this one I haven't actually assigned yet, so it's disabled. Uh, but the choosing option works. So you know, you could have yourself a. Um, Oh, what do you call it? A cauldron tower or whatever. And then you have yourself a regular arrow tower. So we're going to click the regular arrow tower. And there it is. And I'll make it bigger so you guys can see it. There it is. And then we can, um, enemies will, you know, come down and you can shoot arrows at them. So we're going to go over that today. So we hit that. We have the menu and you've seen the menu code. Uh, also, all the code will be available in this video. So we're going to hit the uh, level 2 selection. We're going to do that. We're going to hit the code. It basically is very simple. It's first level selection. On start of the button, go to level 1. Boom, done. Now, we're going to go back to this once we finish level 1. And we're going to tell it to turn into um, <clears throat> either a lock you know, a star, two star, three stars. Now we're going to go into level one. And I'm going to go over er, all the code. It's not a ton of code. It just looks like it. Um, you will need a global variable, tower change. And this will tell us basically in the a tower changing when you're selecting your towers, tell them what to select to. Or tell them what to change to. Okay, so on touched blue button. Now remember, the blue button is where the tower is going to be. You're going to set position of our, uh, our one of our menu items. This item. To where this item is going to be. I, you, as you can see, I've kind of uh, made some stuff and in, partially invisible. So, you'll be able to see them in the um, file down below. So, we're going to tell all this stuff, which is part of our in game menu for tower choosing, to go to certain predestined areas. Uh, so, basically, something like that would be. We're going to go back, we're going to go back, and. Actually, next. Next. What was it? I'm going to get the name of it real quick. Sprite 16. So we're going to select Sprite 16, and we're going to tell it to go to set to another uh, area. And we're going to choose our, our little blob, which is okay with me. And that's how you do it. So you're going to do that with all your objects, tell them where to go. So and we're also going to say on touch or left click. So it, yeah, it'd basically be uh, make or block. And then we're going to copy that and we're going to say on touched of one of the items. Uh, this would be the um, the tower. We're going to have a home position. So all this stuff starts out here and then it ends up actually going out there. Uh, so that it's rendered off scene. Therefore it's actually being rendered at the time. And this is when, you know, you're flipping through different items or it's, hey, I don't need the menu anymore. You, you know, you hit an X button. Or in this case, when you actually select the tower, the menu taps off. And when you actually, 
I don't know exactly if we need this. I think I built this in as a backup. Is if you actually select this sprite, uh, the tower sprite, it'll actually go to sprite 12, which is the little blue button. Or a little, yeah, a little blue button area. And then set system uh, tower. Uh, tower chain to zero. Zero is basically a, we have three variables at this point. We have tower chain two, one, and zero. Zero is basically nothing. You got nothing up. There's like no menus, no tower switching, no nothing. Tower change one is when we actually have like the tower, uh, the arrow tower, um, this one. And then uh, tower change two. Excuse me is when we have the cauldron tower. <clears throat> so, when it's set to zero, there's like nothing up on the screen. Yeah, there. Uh, everything is set to the um, X, X position, which is right here. Okay. So, the next thing is on touch of the gold arrow, we're going to set tower, uh, tower change to two. And then, and that's also if uh, button is a clicked. And then we have the green one, which is tower change to one. Uh, and then here's the actual changing of the tower. So um, if t tower change equals two, then we're going to set the um, actual, the cauldron tower to the middle of the screen, sprite 28. And then we're going to set the actual tower tower to the X button, or the X area, the red X sprite, and then we're going to flip it to where it's the regular arrow tower is set to the center of the screen, and the cauldron tower is set to the exit button, and then on this one it says, hey, if you, uh, if equals tower change equals zero, then send them both over to the exit corner, and then on touch sprite 21, um, this is basically the saying, I think this is another backup system since I was having some bugs, but I don't think I need this anymore. Um, so that actually would be it. I'll be refining it in the next episode, in which we uh, do a switch to the cauldron tower. But it's, here's the switching. You select that tower, it's there. Now, um, it, probably the next one we're go I'm gonna add, I may just add cauldron tower, and then we can switch between the two cauldron towers, and then, okay, um, add in three enemies, and then the builder, uh, the ability for each tower to actually do something. So, this tower that you see right here will shoot an arrow, and then the cauldron tower will probably shoot some sort of electrified magic or something like that and I'll have three enemies that will walk through an area and then the, we'll do um, follow a path and then I'll enable the pause button so that one will be shorter but it will be more refined toward the actual gameplay and then in the next episode after that it will basically be um, all the gameplay should be initialized in the first episode uh, not first episode, but like the first level, so it'll, we'll have a fur, uh, a working first level, and then we'll uh, basically move on from there to okay, we'll go back to um, like the main menu, not main menu, but you know menu selection, uh, or level selection, and then from there we'll move on to the next level. So there should be like two or three levels with different hardness and all this stuff, different enemies. And then that should cover it for this tutorial series. Um, so I want to cover everything in this top-down tower type setup. So hopefully got, you guys enjoyed this episode. So remember to hit the like button if you did. Comment down below if you want a more refined um, certain area of this type of game like section like how do you specifically do that and um you know you can always email me I always have the email and the uh information down below so you can have a private you know okay I need specifically just need information on this I also make private videos for certain people who say okay I just need a quick vid on this or a quick information or whatever on this or a screenshot of that and I 
usually do that pretty quickly so you guys can get to whatever games you're creating. Again, remember guys, hit the like button, subscribe only if you want to, and thanks for everybody for getting me up to about 620 subscribers. You guys are awesome. So again, thanks guys, and have a great day.